Hey guys, welcome back. How goes it? Okay, clearly you can see our next product right here is the Jurassic Park 3 Island Survival Game. Now I found this brand, well, semi brand new, I should say, <laughs> at a thrift store for about, I think, $1.99. It was missing quite a few pieces, um, not many actually, just about five pieces, honestly, which I had to scour eBay for, and I found a whole bunch, like this guy had a whole set of extra pieces. Uh, I bought it put them together in this thing, and the extra ones I sent off to Ted Brothers, which, Ted, if you're watching, this is where this, these pieces came from. Uh, I thought they, they were pretty cool. They were really nice details. He does a lot of sweet repaints and modifications. I figured he would love those pieces and something for nostalgia as well, but this board game, I actually don't remember this coming out at all. I remember actually, I mean, I, 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 mean, I think I seen it in stores, like at Kmart or something, but I don't remember actually playing it or getting it until like I saw it at a thrift store about a year ago. Um, which is why it's right here. I'm like, you know what? Heck yeah, this is totally mine. Um, <laughs> uh, I love the artwork for the Spinosaurus and the T-Rex. First time we see the Spinosaurus looking all nice and cool right here, honestly. Well, I mean, not first time, but like for me, you know. Anyways, moving on. You have the Pteranodons, which have the, like, the Lost World style head crest. Which you've seen in the movie, you know they don't look like that. Um, and then you got people down here. It's like Grant and all them running away from... Really tall, lengthy velociraptors again. And it says, uh, battle dinosaurs in five action sequences. Who will survive? Uh, we don't, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, I, I could survive. He could survive. He, who, you never know. Uh, again, we're going back with the caution tape borderline, um, right here. Just, just on one side though, which is interesting. Uh, again, this is also the other color scheme I remember growing up with, with Toy Lines for Jurassic Park 3. Because the first, you know, the Lost World was like green and jungly. This was like kind of red, chaotic, kind of like, you know, like scary danger. And the first time we had the new logo for Jurassic Park, you know, it's just like all silver and whatnot. I remember seeing a, uh, a uh, what's it called, a, a billboard of the Jurassic Park 3 logo. It was just this logo on like a metallic background with the three slashes and a shadow of a pteranodon flying over it. I'm like, that's really cool. Like, I didn't know there was three coming out because, like, I didn't go on the internet that much when I was a kid. The internet was kind of, like, semi-new when I was growing up. So, like, you know, I never knew there was Dress Part 3 until I saw the billboard and then stuff in the newspaper and commercials, and I was super excited. Still not my favorite Dress Part movie, but it's I still love it for other purposes. But, yeah, let's just check around the rest of the game. Got the long right here. Nice. Spines her from the movie picture right there as well. Same on this side, just a lot longer. What do you get? You get include 12 official dress park dinosaur figures, which are right there, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, same on the side, and same on the side, and in the back. Oh goodness, it's upside down. Great, good job, Mike. <laughs> Uh, so here's here's the whole board game for you and the pieces how they all displayed out you get the cards dinosaur pieces um, Different strategies they said the Spinosaurus is really freaking cool. So uh, all right, let me open this since it's upside down and Ooh, I'm gonna set this up and we'll take a closer look at it Alrighty, so here we go with the uh, Dress Park 3 board game Got them mostly all set up. I don't know how well you can see half the figures, but I will point them out to you one by one. Let's start with the human characters at first. Again, by the way, my table's a bit too small for the reviews, so uh, we'll just um, kind of like ignore that. So we have your little human figures. We have Alan Grant. Looks fairly accurate to the actor. Um, I don't know why he's got a big old walking stick, but maybe there's a plot in there where he had a big walking stick. I don't know. Uh, I got Billy. Oh, come on, focus on Billy. Really? Come on, there we go. Again, looks like the actor. Um, can't remember his name for some reason. Uh, but yeah, it looks like him. Not bad, not bad. Similar clothing, pretty accurate. Uh, we got Paul, Paul Kirby, Kirby Enterprises. Um, yep, looks just like William H. Macy. A mustache and everything. I think it's a mustache. Okay, it's very faint, but I can I can see a mustache in there. Maybe. I don't know. It could be crazy. And you have, I'm sorry to the actress, this is like the worst character I swear they put in the movie. Yeah, just, just her constant screaming and yeah, it, just, it didn't work out. I just, I don't know why, like no offense to the actress or anything, but like maybe the plot would have been like more, I think, heavy hearted if like she was eating or something. Like maybe off screen, like not show it, but like, you know. 
give the uh, movie a little more fuel, you know, versus everybody surviving minus the two, three characters um, that you know are going to die off. <laughs> Here's Eric. Um, I mean, not the right clothing, but that's all right. Not right, you know, not bad. And then we have Udesky. Now, I'm pretty positive this board game was probably made before they had a full cast going on, only because of these next two character pieces. Um, looks nothing like Udesky. Kind of looks like my Uncle Don a bit. But he's not bald or anything, he's not short, not wearing all black. He doesn't look military, he just looks like a, a carpenter. <laughs> so, there's Udesky. Um, also, no Cooper, by the way. Do you, no Cooper. Um, which is weird, because Cooper is like, you know, we should have him in the board game, or at least a little piece of him somewhere for the Spinosaurus to eat. And this next one, like I said, this was probably done before casting was created or done with the film. The film changed script several times while they were making the movie, so, you know, let this let this one go. But it's weird to me that this is Nash. If you all seen the movie, you know damn well this is not Nash. But, uh, again, this was probably before they had a full casting done. Or maybe they had the wrong people. Maybe this was supposed to be Cooper, and they never made a Nash figure. You, you don't know. You don't know. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, go with the dinosaur pieces. We have another T-Rex right here. Same thing, just this one's green, and it has the JP3 mark right there. So just JP. Uh, it feels a bit thinner plastic, um, unlike the other one I had from the Lost World. But yeah, there's a green T-Rex piece, which is really nice. Uh, same thing with the Lost World. We have Velociraptors. Same thing, just different logo on their thigh this time for JP3. You get three raptors, one rex. You get th uh, six pteranodons and, excuse me, two spinosaurs. So here's the pteranodons, which are really cool. They come on this nice little stand. Um, I mean, you can take them off. You know, they don't have to be on the stand, but you know, this big old hole in the belly then. They're just really nicely detailed. Let me check that out. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Yeah, really nicely detailed. Yeah, they're a bit goofy, a bit like 50s-ish, 60s style pteranodon looking, but not bad at all. And like I said, you get six of them, which is cool. And then the main piece, oh, if I can grab them, the Spinosaurus, all in glorious purple. <laughs> I like this a lot. This is really cool. Um, although, if, oh, I just realized his legs looks like he's like doing the, doing the potty dance. <laughs> he's like, I gotta go, guys. Oh, there's like a really thick chunk of plastic between his legs. Now, now that I look at it, he looks kind of like a gummy candy, honestly. That's really funny to me. But yeah, like, he's like this almost translucent purple type. Uh, again, still really good detail, though. Really good, and you get two of them, too, which is a theory I had in the movie. I'm sure some people have the same theory as well, that there's two Spinosaurus throughout the whole movie. And the fact that this game gives you two Spinosaurus pieces kind of leads me to believe there's actually two Spinosaurus, but... You never know. So let's take a minute and go over the whole board game in one fell swoop. Or I can fail and make this shaky and miserable. So hold on one second. Hold on to your butts, people. Okay, I'm going to start off right here at the start. You got the awesome Spinosaurus right there. And a couple, well, that looks like a JP1 Velociraptor. Obviously JP3 and 3 right there. But that's like a 1 or 2. I mean, maybe Lost World. Get a Lost World Buck T-Rex, Bull T-Rex, whatever you want to call it. You got, you got your draw a card right here, areas, jaw to jaw. Now, I haven't played this board game in its fullest, so I'm not sure how everything works out just yet, but I will eventually. Got the awesome Pteranodons right here as well, and their whole enclosure right there. And escape this way to the river. Again, there's your Spinosaurus hanging out right there in the river. I mean, I guess maybe there's two, because you probably just put one here, just for fun, so... But yeah, it's T-Rex again, all right in the water. Then you get to the final escape, which there's more Tyranodons. The final escape, for some reason, race to the rescue, draw a card, there's a tiny boat there. Uh, cover, yep. And then more random footprints everywhere. Oh, it looks like little copy footprints. Interesting. So yeah, oh, and then there's the uh, final scene where they knock that over, set on fire, Spinosaurus runs away like a big coward. Um, there's a shipwreck area, which is not in the movie, but yeah. So yeah, there's a whole board game right there for JP3. Uh, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Again, like I said, I'm not going to play the games because it's just me. Take forever to go through all the rules and everything. Um, but I mean, when I first got this, like I said, I got it from the thrift store. It was only like a dollar ninety nine. It was missing a few character pieces. Like I think I was missing Billy, and the Aaron Kirby I had was all chewed up, so I had to get like a whole new one. And same with the cards and whatnot, which are the character cards. Um, I was missing a couple stands. And I think I was missing, like, I think two Pteranodons. Like, I wasn't missing a lot of characters, but just, just definitely a few. But, yeah, this was pretty cool. I think a pretty damn good deal I got for $1.99. And then, like, I think, like, the six bucks I spent to get the characters and extra pieces off eBay. So, yeah, there's um, my Jurassic Park 3 Island Survival board game review. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Be excellent to each other and take care. I got one more coming up, so look forward to that one. So, see you guys around.